with two different color. I'm just gonna pour my darkest color inside my mold here. Once your first yellow is ready and set, you're gonna take the light one and you're gonna pour just like that. It's gonna create this beautiful color. Now, our jello is now set. Let's put here some cornflakes that I just mixed to create a sandy beach. Perfect. I just, we have our sandy beach here. Thank you, great. Let's start now our beautiful cake. Perfect. I have my sponge here and buttercream that we're gonna poach in the center. And now let's smash everything together. So I want to create like a clay to be able to build after my shark head. Once you have your cake mixed here, I'm gonna take a large amount of it and we're gonna start building our shark. So let's keep the idea of the head and you can take the mix here. Once your head is shaped like that, I'm gonna take my buttercream and we're gonna cover it entirely. The cream will also help you to shape it and create a beautiful shark head. Once you're done with your white buttercream here, we're gonna start making the gray part. Once you have your gray buttercream here we're gonna take some fondant it's a red one and i'm gonna put it inside the shark mouth once you have this here i'm gonna take some marshmallow that i cut into the marshmallow here as it's cut you have the sticky part that's gonna stick to the fondant the last tip here beautiful and now i'm gonna take some icing here that i made and you're just gonna start painting a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. And now let's create a good nose here. And now let's make him some gills. So we're just gonna open them here. Let's put our glasses here inside our shark head. So I'm just gonna push them inside of course the blood is outside the last one here and this poor little girl just was eaten by the shark let's bring the beach so I have my jello here and my beautiful bloody shark there let's take it and put it inside the ocean really carefully a little piece of glass here and look at with our jello so i'm just gonna pour the green and the blue into two glasses perfect i'm gonna add some boiling water into the first one to the second as well really good and we're gonna add some cold water to the mix we're gonna mix the two jello together so green and blue, make sure that the powder is well mixing. So once you have your powder melt, we're gonna add into the big jar. So I met some just before to have enough to create the nice effect that we're looking for. Perfect. And we're gonna keep going with making the cake. So I have my cake here that I cut a little bit here. So we're just gonna take out this part and we're gonna put it in the top just like that. So we're gonna create this effect to have like a mountain. So we're gonna put it in here and going up. I wanna cover the entire cake with this buttercream. So we have colored the buttercream into a gray to have a stone effect. And with a spatula, we're just gonna smooth the cream so I want um, the cream not be perfectly flat because you know when you have a mountain perfect so now we have smooth our cake it's perfect I'm gonna take here my sponge so a little piece of sponge that I'm gonna dip into icing sugar and we're just gonna create some effects like that perfect so we want something like to have like to, to make some like 
even like it, it was a mountain exactly and that's perfect i'm gonna add now some nice shells so you can just create a nice effect remember pandora is something that doesn't exist anywhere else so just be wild on everything you want there you go maybe some shells here as well I'm gonna just stick to the buttercream a little one here once you have your cake like this we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it into a fish tank yes you heard it right so really be careful with your cake we don't want to smash everything and we're gonna take our fake edible mousse so just like do whatever you want like it's just mousse that they're gonna go with a tree so you can put all over the place right there so we have the mousse here at the top and with the rest of the cake I made some little stones so just put the stone like this and now we're gonna put our jello inside the fish tank really carefully we're gonna fill the entire thing so we're gonna start with the blue beautiful color and we're gonna marble it with the green so we're gonna have this turquoise water it's gonna be amazing perfect awesome we're gonna let everything set on the side and move on with our tree so here I have my melted chocolate so we're just gonna do like small little thing like this into a large bowl of water we want something really nice here and we keep going there we go we're gonna do the branch right there we can make some little details so you'll tell me chocolate and water is not working together i'll tell you that it's worked perfectly you just need to have a really large amount of ice cube that's the most important the water needs to be really really cold to be able to freeze the chocolate instantly there we go a little bit more in the top here once you have the base here we're just gonna dip into the ice cube just like that and we're gonna keep going on the side just like this perfect so now our tree is perfect look at this amazing 3d tree that we made we're gonna leave it on the side just like that and move on with the fondant and food coloring right. now we're gonna dye our fondant so i'm just gonna put a little bit like this and we're gonna start mixing together the food coloring and the fondant so you're gonna see doing like this we're gonna have purple and pink coming in inside perfect so i use gloves obviously that's a bit dirty There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So I want to make sure that I have a really thin and we're gonna put it into this fondant press. Perfect. I'm gonna put this here and we're gonna press everything directly at the top of the plate. It's gonna be exactly the shape that we want. Really nice. And we're gonna do exactly the same. Back here, we're gonna cut. And I'm going to show you what it did so you can see that we have really nice little string. And we're gonna create our tree now. And now we're gonna create a wa, so the famous avatar tree, by taking the little string like that. And we're gonna pour them directly into the tree like that. So we want the string to be different size so you see i put all over here perfect our tree is ready now we're gonna move on to the cake and now we're ready to put our tree on our pandora island it's really fragile so be careful we're gonna put it here make sure that it stay on the mousse perfect look at this amazing we're gonna pipe the churros into the oil we want to have a really straight churros so my churros are well cooked now so we just remove the excess of oil put them into the sugar same with the second one so just be careful because the pop rocks start to pop straight away and then we're just gonna shake the sugar and the churros to cover it with sugar that's perfect. We're gonna put 
our churras covered with sugar and pop rocks into a plate. Gonna let them cool a little bit, leave them on the side and move on with our chocolate. So I'm just gonna fill a paper cornet with some melted chocolate, close it. So now I'm gonna use my chocolate to create a nice decor. So I'm just gonna follow this drawing. Here we go. That's for the dark chocolate. And then we're gonna move into the white chocolate here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of black food coloring and start mixing to create a gray color. Perfect. And we're gonna transfer the chocolate into the paper cornet. There we go. I'm gonna close it, cut the end, and do the same here to cover the dark one. Perfect. And we're gonna do exactly the same with the white chocolate. So exactly the same at the end. And we're gonna finish the decor with the white. And here we go. We're gonna let it sit a little bit into the fridge for 15 minutes. And we're gonna let our chocolate sit for 15 minutes until we can move on the end. So now we're ready. So I'm just gonna take my churros put it into the chocolate that's set in the fridge and we're just gonna cover it just like that really slowly and we're just gonna hold the paper and the plastic together with pepper clips on each side we want the chocolate to really cover the churros and we're gonna let it set in the fridge at least half an hour to have a chocolate really thick on the churros.